from Sirius XM's Doctor Radio. This is Coronavirus. Everything you need to know now. Now listen, I know there's a big scare about the coronavirus, and the people you should listen to are people from the CDC and the World Health Organization and the National Institutes of Health. These are the people who are going to give you the information that you need to be safe or as safe as you can be in your community. That's the first thing. Don't listen to actors, politicians, your neighbor, or read something in a you know some crazy headline. Make sure your information is coming from a valid source. That's one thing. The second thing is we just did a segment on eating foods with your hands. I wouldn't recommend doing that a lot. Certainly, unless you're the only one eating food from that bowl, you can use your hands. But otherwise, not such a good idea. It's a really easy way to transmit germs into food. You're putting food into your mouth, putting your hand back in that bowl of food. When I have a bowl of nuts or some chocolate covered almonds or potato chips or hummus, I always have spoons or tongs in all those bowls at parties to encourage people not to use their hands. And of course, you know you hear this all the time. Please wash your hands. A lot. You touch a public doorknob, put your hand on the arm of an escalator, push a button in your elevator, get into a taxi or a rideshare, put your hand on a shopping cart handle or a basket, wash your hands. So that's a really big thing to do. And remember, your immune system responds to a lot of times your psychological and emotional health. So if you're feeling stressed. Get some exercise. Get some sleep. Make sure you're eating as healthfully as you can. And if you're at a point where you need to get some extra help to manage that stress, then seek out that help and help you manage it because that will also help tank your immune system. So the healthier you are, the better your immune system. People who are at risk of getting viruses like the flu or the coronavirus or pneumonia or any of these viruses that、um, you know are flowing around the planet are. Older people, people with compromised immune systems, and little ones. So be very careful if you're in that category, or you're looking after someone who is in that category, to stay healthy and well hydrated and well fed. And another thing is, Corona beer has nothing to do with the coronavirus. There was a survey from a public relations firm that just came out that surveyed about 700 people and found that about 38 percent of them were fearful of drinking Corona beer. It's just beer, folks. You can drink it. I don't encourage you to drink and drive, but other than that, it's fine as long as you're at a legal age, of course. Corona beer is just the name of the beer. There is no association with it and the virus. There is no one nationality or age. Or a religion that's particularly associated with this coronavirus. Everyone is equally at risk. Everyone is equally at risk of being a carrier. So just take good care of yourself. Wipe down. You know, I use. You don't want to use a lot of antibacterial products because there are. Apparently, some repercussions for that, but you know, I wipe down the seats of an airplane. I wipe down the tray. I wipe down the the arm rails. I wipe down the head thing. I wipe down the seat. You know, wipe down things. Keep your hands washed, and don't double dip at parties. And if you see, even at home, if you see someone taking a chip and sticking in the salsa and eating it, taking a bite of that chip and then putting that chip back in the salsa, give them that bowl of salsa and take out another one. So no double dipping. Let's not spread those germs. Super duper safe. If you have symptoms, talk to your doctor. Maybe you have a headache. Maybe you have a cough. As we talked about earlier in the show, telemedicine is very popular these days. If you have an insurance company that has a telemedicine option, that may be helpful for you to say, "Hey, look, I've got the sniffles and I'm coughing a little," and they'll tell you what to look for and whether you need to be seen in person by a physician or healthcare practitioner. So let's not panic. Let's just be really intelligent about it. Let's be thoughtful. Take really good care of ourselves. Keep our immune systems as strong as we can, and take the Steps we need to do that. Around the clock updates from the world's leading experts are now on Doctor Radio, Sirius XM 110. To learn more and to subscribe, go to SiriusXM.com.